Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and uh, this is the summary for the day of uh, 243 for the 24th of October and uh, let's start off with weird statements so the the weird statements this time around come from the Russian side so they really go all in into this uh, dirty bomb uh, conspiracy thing and uh, they basically caught the US and the UK uh, regarding this uh, concern about this dirty bomb the potential use of a dirty bomb by ukraine uh, allegedly by this russian side and the chief of uh general staff of the russian uh, armed forces called the uk defense staff uh admiral anthony and uh, radakin and a uh, chairman of the joint chief of staff of the u.s armed forces general uh, mark Milley. so basically he they they just went to complain about this dirty bomb thing and uh on top of that they even doubled down on this calling uh requesting for a meeting of the un security council uh regarding this uh alleged uh conspiracy and uh i personally don't think it is uh legit and um however uh this is what it is and uh usually when russia calls up uh calls out some uh alleged you know, planned action by the ukrainians uh so-called atrocities uh usually this kind of atrocities do not happen so i I don't think this will go anywhere and uh so uh the ukrainian armed for uh, air force or armed forces have reported that they have taken uh and shot down a sukhoi 24m and uh so uh and also 3k52 you no know, which i will be uh talking about uh in a while moving on to the uh Mikolai front uh there is nothing at the Mikolai front and uh, going to the Kherson front at the Kherson front the Ukrainian forces uh attack uh Borazensky as well as Piatikaki. uh this is reported uh by uh, military chronicles uh where they say two companies of the special operation uh, forces of the Ukraine try to conduct recon by combat and uh so they so all in all uh still did not seem to have worked out you know uh the other other details are really you know, not really important and uh the you the russian uh, ka-52 uh there's three of them getting shot down on the same day two of them were shot down in a half within half an hour around 1 to 1 30 p.m and uh, at night there was another third one that was shot down uh, all these are shot down by anti-aircraft uh, missile brigades which probably means that the ukrainians have uh, brought some uh potent air defense uh, system surface to air missile systems uh, around this Kherson region that allows them to shoot down uh the russian helicopters are uh, pretty far away from the front line because uh, what they wrote is that the Burislav region so probably you know around the region here not so much to the front line and uh, according to the ukrainian defense ministry they reported that the russians have mined the coastline of hono stavka so this this town here they have mined the coastline so this is uh in con so this might seem to be really out of the blue for the ukrainian side uh when they look at this however uh if we follow the pro-russian sources despite this information is coming from the ukrainian defense ministry uh we do know that the ukrainian forces do have uh uh trained uh amphibious forces at also korivka and the russians actually bomb it once and uh there might be this concern from the russian side that the ukrainians might actually try to do landing but of course this is a very long coast uh why must they really land here and not other places i have no freaking idea so anyway this is the report from the uh, ukrainian defense ministry and uh that's all from the Kherson front and over at the zaporizhia line uh we have actually no information uh on the zaporizhia line and moving on to the uh, Donetsk front at the Donetsk front uh the ukrainian defense ministry uh, continues to report the russian uh, attacks at uh, marinka uh at nevelsky pervomysky so you know this is the part where on the western side of Donetsk city and uh, that's all from the Donetsk front not a lot to be reported and uh over at the bakhmut front uh the russians continue to be reported to be attacking uh, Klitschivka according to the Ukrainian Defense Ministry. Uh, fighting is reported at Ivanrad 
and uh, there is fighting reported at Bakhmut. So I want to just indicate there was photos of the CNET plant um, where the Ukrainians took a photo there. So I'm going to put this to blue. And uh, most likely, if they have, they have captured here because they are taking photo in front of this uh, factory here, this is likely to be under Ukrainian control as well. So you know, I'll put this to Ukrainian control. And uh, we can push the front line backwards to around at least here. Uh, likely, it's going to be a bit slightly further, a bit. Uh, to at least 500 meters away from this spot or one kilometers away uh, because uh, 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 the effective range of a uh, rifle tends to be around 400 meters to 500 meters so I'm gonna put to this this distance uh, that seems fair uh, there is this report from uh, Visigrad uh, 24 claiming that uh, they actually pushed two kilometers that means all the way all the way from here all the way to probably the bend in this road here uh however this seems to be a very huge claim and uh there might be truth to that uh, i have ever i never see this being reported by any of the usual trusted source that i depend upon and uh and also there's important note that they said that the russia has been forced out of the asphalt plant uh, asphalt factory but the asphalt factory is actually not here that's for factory is actually uh here so it's actually very far away uh it's not exactly the same area and i remember soaring uh seeing information about fighting uh at the asphalt plant i seem to have forgot to indicate so oops i gotta at least you no know, do this where the ukrainians are attacking the asphalt plant let me add the information so I have added this information here. Uh, the fighting reported as part plan. Uh, this is actually reported by Raiba, the pro-Russian source. So it's in co uh, in contradiction to this uh, uh pro pro Ukrainian uh media, uh which tends to report a lot of fake news. So you know, I put very very little credit or trust on this media. However, uh, there is fighting reported as as fault plan, but it's definitely nothing near here. And uh, the the fact that they say it's two kilometers. Uh, I have to put a pinch of salt until we have uh, more corroborating uh, sources to say uh, otherwise. And uh, interestingly, you know, the Ukrainian uh, Defense Ministry said that it is the Russians that actually, you know, attacking at Bakhmut. So um, very weird. Since if this is the case, because Ukrainians are doing the offensive, then why are they reporting the Russians are attacking? Um, or maybe this is just how the way the Ukrainian Defense Ministry uh reports uh regardless who is attacking is always the russians attacking that could be the case also uh something that i've seemed to have noticed and uh there is fighting reported at soleda as well according to the ukrainian defense ministry over at the Sivas front uh, the ukrainian defense ministry continues to report on russian offensive over at bilohorivka at sperney and uh, something new is that there is fighting uh at vulcan okanyamsky again so you know vulcan common square so it's vulcan okanian scale over, over here and uh, there is fighting reported at below horifka uh, according to raiba though they say that it is the ukrainians uh that launched the attack and then uh and then the russians actually do a counter offensive to you know push them back so you no know, it is corroborate, uh, corroborated that uh at least you no know, there is fighting at the below horifka region and uh, according to raiba there is some reinforcement reported in the area of Serebrianka, uh, 20 infantry and two tanks doesn't seem like a lot, uh, but at least two tanks still make a huge difference. And uh, that's all from the Sivas front. Over at the Liman front, uh, the Ukrainians have uh, made some progress, you know, some success over in the northern part of the Liman front, where they have captured uh, Nevsky as well as. Uh, Novo Sadove. And uh, this is actually you know, very interesting because this is actually reported by the Ukrainian Defense Ministry and uh, they very seldom report on them capturing um, settlements. So they have reported that they have captured these two settlements over here at the Liman front. And uh, while Raiba, uh, before this information, Raiba did report that there is fighting south of Makivka. Uh, region so maybe this is actually referring to a uh, nevsky and uh there is report uh from the pro-russian sources that the ukrainian forces is 
attacking towards Shivano Popivka and with the capture of Nevsky and uh, Novo Sadove, it does make a lot of sense that the maybe the offensive may not be actually from Makivka but actually you know directly from this region. This also uh, sounds a very very plausible. So I'm gonna leave this pointy end here. And uh so uh moving on to the Sviatove front. So this is Sviatove uh town or city. If, in case you guys are lost, right? We are now here. And uh the Ukrainian forces also reported they have captured uh Kama Zinivka over here. And uh as such, you know, given the, the line that is uh being claimed by the Ukrainian Defense Ministry is uh, assessed that uh Tedo Libove or uh, or you know Tedo Kilibov I don't know how to pronounce this uh is also likely to be have captured by the Ukrainian forces if not this will be a very weird uh place to have a salient so uh this is likely to be Ukrainian controlled and uh on the western side of uh, Sviatove there is fighting reported at Adrivka according to the Ukrainian defense ministry where the Russians actually launched an attack here however just north of it the Ukrainians uh actually captured uh Myasor Zarivka according to the Ukrainian defense ministry so uh kind of weird because this both of this information is coming from uh Ukrainian defense ministry so this information come in the evening this one come uh this morning so uh interesting uh, to see you know these two information being side by side and uh so as such you know uh it's hard to tell uh who is actually doing the attacking but um according to you know the blue you can see the blue line this is actually the ukrainian claims so this is still you know congruent to what we expected uh from the ukrainian side uh, that the line the front line is actually one straight line and um there is fighting reported at Berestove according to the pro-Russian pro -Russian source Raiba where uh, the Ukrainians actually uh, attacked this location in the afternoon in around 3 p.m. local time and um, by the special operation forces. So there is also fighting reported at Olyanske as well as at Pershot Trafnevi. The Looks the U Russian forces at the Do Vorishna region seems to have totally uh kept quiet already. Uh seems like they have given up hope about attacking the Ukrainian side somehow. Uh they are just not moving. So maybe the Ukrainians are, are pinning them down. Uh so probably which is why they're stuck there. So um uh, that's all from the Kupians front. And uh that's all from the entire of uh ukraine and this is the summary for the day of 2043 for the 24th of october and uh so please press the like button if you have not pressed the like button and uh subscribe if you did not subscribe and uh i'll see you in the next update